Hello, it's Mr. Bird, and I'm going to be talking about the math initiative that we're uh, undertaking this school year um, and how it ties into IXL and how to create classes, how to add students, how to assign lessons, and a little bit about the tracking sheet. At the start of the third six weeks, we're going to be switching to the IXL program for our math initiative. Um, first off, students will be assigned lessons based on the grade-specific scope and sequence. Um, they have to successfully receive a SMART score of 100 for 15 lessons or more in order to qualify for uh, an incentive. Keep in mind, they can retake the lessons as many times as they would like. Prior to starting the incentive, which begins right after the Thanksgiving break, um, it would be best if we could get the students acquainted with the program and ourselves. So I'm providing this tutorial to kind of get you started on that. First off, go to the IXL website. The login is right here. And your login information should have been provided to you by this point. Once you've logged in, let's create a class. What you would do first is you click on the green arrow next to your name on the right side of the screen. And after that, a drop down uh, menu opens up. Select Roster. Although it doesn't show up on my screen, uh, the upper right side, you should have an option to create classes. I um, circle the area where it should be located. Once you do that, type in the name of each class. For example, first period, second period, third period, etc. Upon doing so, there should be a blank column on the left side of every student's name. It should be titled Class. As you can see in mine, they're already filled out. What you would do is click on the empty space next to each student's name and then select the appropriate class for the student. Repeat that step for every student. Make sure you save as you do each one. In the event that you do not have a student on your roster, or if you get a new student throughout the school year, click on Add Students on the bottom right of your screen and type in the appropriate information. In order to make things a bit smoother for your students, you can actually assign specific lessons. Um, keep in mind this will show up for every student on your roster. So first thing you would do is click on the learning tab at the upper left side of the screen, then select math. Once you've done that, select the appropriate grade level. For example, in my case, I selected sixth grade. Once you are on the lesson page, if you notice, there is a gray star when you hover over the left side of each lesson. If you click on that star, the lesson is highlighted. You can do that for every lesson you want your students to work on. If you'd like to remove it, simply click on the star again. You will also be receiving a lesson tracking sheet. In it, you will see lessons that have just recently been covered, as well as what co what's coming up that six weeks. Although the lessons are in order based on the UISD's pacing guide, students can work on them in pretty much any order. In order to qualify for the incentive, they must score 100 on 15 or more lessons, and there must be a teacher or parent um, set of initials next to the lessons that were completed. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact me.